Um, well, let me just let me let me let me illustrate one thing. There's um, there's been a little heat from uh, from the corporate side of uh, of my workplace, and um, what I've explained to them is, hey, th- th- this is where I work, but I live in the real world, and so um, you know, I'm sorry, I can't stand idly by any longer and just pretend like uh, all this stuff is going to fix itself. And if I've if I've got a if I've got a platform that others don't, that others need, if I've got a voice that 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 that, that can be of service to those that need me, then um, I'm going to use it, you know, and I had an amazing example growing up of my father who, uh, who stood in the face of tyranny my, my entire life and, and was ridiculed and criticized and called insane and, and misguided and uninformed and a radical and a, you know, a, 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 you know, a tinfoil hat wearer, and, um, and I had that as an example uh, of a guy that just believed in the truth and believed in humanity, and believed in goodwill and believed in, um, you know, in, 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 you know, bringing, uh, bringing hope to the hopeless, you know? Charlie, we've got to break again. I want to come back and speak about that, go through more of the points, and we're going to go to Bob McElvain as well. The after illusion created break. by the power elite. The GCN Radio Network. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're here live. We're not left or right. We are against corruption. We're against socialism, communism, imperialism, any form of command and control tyranny. And we just tell the truth. We have a declassified government document in ABC News. Operation Northwoods, U.S. government plan to bomb U.S. cities as pretext for war. We have Army field manuals where the government stages terror. It's declassified. We talk about it. Uh, we know that the Gardasil shots are killing people, and it's in, it's in the news. We cover it. I mean, that, you know, that's all we do here is tell the truth. Our only agenda is the truth. Charlie, you were trying to explain your role models, your father, everything your father has done. I mean, he spoke out day one with you against the war, and uh, you guys really got attacked for that. Look who was proven right in the end. How dare your dad say there weren't WMDs. We're on the right side of history. Yeah, I think that's really key, Alex. I think that's really key. I I, I absolutely believe that myself, that we are on the right side of history. And... Um, and I think it's only a matter of time before more join us on that right side. And um, I think what people need to understand, and, and what has been such a such a, 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 a really uh, offensive uh, spin job, is that I'm not claiming that I know what happened. I'm not making those claims. I'm just asking people to look at the inconsistencies. Look at the stuff. Look at the absolute facts that were completely ignored. You know, when you get into the doomsday plane, with this Anderson Cooper reported on, and then the commission deemed it, yeah, they had so much to, to investigate, they didn't feel it was important enough to include in the report. Guys, it's the doomsday plane. Over New York, over D.C., multiple government E-4Bs, over command and control aircraft while this is happening, but jets 20-something miles away, F-16s can't get there, but the doomsday planes are over both targets. It's a real problem. It needs to be looked at. It needs to be looked at thoroughly. Let's 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 subpoena and put those pilots under oath. Let's do that. When did you take off? How long were you in the air? What was your mission? What were you doing there? What were you told? And again, Alex, it's not just me. I mean, these are the questions that the families had at the at the commission hearing. These, yeah, this is the, the, all the stuff that was. It was completely swept aside, and it was absolutely stonewalled at every turn, and and, and frustrated, and, and 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 screaming out during the proceedings, and being escorted away as a security violation. I mean, come on, come on, it's just this. Uh, yeah, they're in there screaming, saying "cover up, inside job." They're drug away. People like Bob McElvain, whose son died. And then, meanwhile, these media whores get up there and say, "All the families disagree with Charlie Sheen." When here's an example out of Salon, 911 Truth signatory standby call for new investigation, and Salon called 50 of these people and only got two of them to halfway recant. And Salon rightfully said and wrote a positive piece and said, "Look, people have a right to question what's going on. Of they have they a. Do. Of course they do. I mean, that's the that's the country I was raised in. That's what I was told to believe in." Charlie, let's go over some of these other points. But before we do that, I want to go back to Sibel Edmonds. She's the FBI translator listening to NSA intercepts. She goes public on this show and other shows about four years ago, federal gag order. She's trying to get around it. 
She's saying drug running, terrorist funding, human trafficking, murder, hit teams. That's now all come out that Cheney was running hit teams uh, in mainstream news illegally, even in the U.S., against non-Al-Qaeda, Al-CIA targets. Sure. And she comes out now, breaks the federal gag order about a month ago. It was in the middle of uh, August. Yeah. And, 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 and goes public. And we've got clips in the video, your message to the president, saying up until the day of 9-11, bin Laden and al-Qaeda and Taliban were working for the CIA. Yeah, and it didn't get any mainstream coverage whatsoever. Why is that not the top story on the 6 o'clock evening news? Why is the FBI revealing that Ted Olson... Solicitor General never got the phone call from his wife on the Pentagon flight. Why is that not the lead story on the 6 o'clock evening news? What about the cell phones? They, they still can't make them work above 10,000 feet. Every time I'm on a flight, I try as I take off with it, you know, to see when it cuts out. It does it at about 3,000 feet every time. Sure. I know how tall these radio towers are. They're 2,000. When I get about 1,000 above, it cuts out uh, if I'm lucky. Uh, flying into L.A. and places, I'll have it on at 20,000, 10,000. The sucker doesn't turn on until 1,000 feet or so. Sure. Then they admit she didn't use air phones. Then the FBI says, yeah, we have no record of her ever making her call getting through to him, to Ted Olson. Uh, what's, uh, give us your take on that, these magical cell phones that on a bunch of flights were working that day. Well, again, Alex, I think this is, uh, these are areas that, 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 that you know we can only ask that, that, that some scientific research be be presented behind and that, um, you know, for us to, to, to sit here and, and, and try to figure all that out, I mean, it, um, at, at face value, it sounds absurd, but let's investigate it. Let's look at it further. Let's, let's turn it over to some experts. Let's see what they have to say. Forget my opinion of it. Forget your opinion of it. I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious, but still, let's, let's put it in the hands of the people that do that stuff for a living. Guys a thousand times smarter than me stuff they do all day every day let's give it to them along with all these other points all these other all these other facts and and, and you know omissions as they were and as they are charlie i have bob, uh, bob McElvain. i have bob McElvain on the line with us and we're gonna have him on for about five minutes or something we're gonna go back through some of the final points of the time we have left with you today but there's a famous quote by bob McElvain about his son, he says, it upsets me tremendously that Bobby, my son who died, could be used as a political pawn to be manipulated at times like this and abused. And he went on from there, but instead of just reading quotes from Bob who lost his son, uh, Bobby, on 9-11, I want to go ahead and go to him now. Uh, Bob McElvain, who was in the 9-11 Commission, who tried to speak to him, uh, sir, what do you think on this eighth anniversary about what Charlie and all of us are doing? Well, I, I, if anyone does anything, like I just so greatly appreciate it because you know, I it, it's very difficult to you know, like no one can sit there and coordinate what's happening. And, and as Charlie just said, you know, you, you hear these things, but you know, they have to be investigated. Well, that's what I spend my life doing because you know, after going to the nine eleven commission hearing. I came out so disgusted, absolutely disgusted, that, you know, Ben Venice had even said that this is not an investigation. It's merely an exposition. And, and, and again, I always tell people, please look at that as a parent. And as a parent, my son was murdered. And here, the 9-11 Commission, who were supposed to be investigating the murder of my son. And I try to keep it to myself. I'm not a spokesperson for anyone else in the 9-11 movement, because... That's my job as a parent, as a father, to find out how my son was murdered. And, uh, and I actually thought maybe during the line of living, maybe they're going to really find out if this is true. Well, I came out of that and saying, well, nothing they told me is true. So I'll tell people, you know, they say, oh, you're getting involved in these conspiracy theories. This is stuff that has to do with conspiracy theories. That's all I'm doing. Please tell me what happened. I mean, God, when you hear the FBI says that we can't prove that Obama bin Laden was part of it. Uh, you know, when I pick up the flight manifest, I don't see any Arabs on it. Well, I don't know for sure who's on well, the plane, but I certainly think, geez, what happened here? You know what well, I mean? 